Let's check if a URL is safe. Now, if you're on a phone or a computer or any device and you're wondering, is a link in an email or on a website safe? I'll walk you through the entire process on how to check that. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's just open up a web browser here and let's say go to apple.com. Of course, there are not going to be any links on apple.com that are unsafe, but I'll walk you through the process. Now, one option that you have on a phone is to tap and hold on a link. By tapping and holding on it, you can see it brings up this little preview of what that link looks like. So you'll be able to get a basically little picture of that link, but it doesn't fully load that link with all of the cookies and cache and potentially malware associated with that. Now, another thing you can do is you can hit copy link here, or if you're on a computer, just hit right click and hit copy link. And what we're gonna do is type into Google link checker. And there are a bunch of different options here. You can use one or multiple different ones. Let's just tap on the top one, NordVPN. And what you're gonna do is paste this link in there and hit analyze. Now it says at the very top, it shows no signs of malicious activity, nevertheless remain vigilant on this specific link. Now keep in mind, these won't check every single link and get it right every single time. Sometimes basically it might be malicious and in not a way that this is looking for. Maybe it's just basically a malicious link that will try to get you to enter a credit card and just pay for something that you didn't mean to pay for, or it might take your money, or it might download a virus or malware onto your phone or computer. Another thing you can do is a lot of web browsers have built-in safety measures. So Google Chrome as well as Safari, Firefox, all of those have built-in safety measures. You can always head into your settings here, scroll down and find Safari. And there are a couple of different things you can do on here to help prevent any kind of issues. If you scroll down here, you can see fraudulent website warning. If that is turned off, then essentially you're telling it to not look out for any kind of website that might cause issues to you. Make sure that is toggled on. And then also you might want to hide your IP address and prevent cross-site tracking. These help to prevent any kind of, kind of smaller malicious things that some links might download a bit of information on your device and share that with some other links or some other websites or apps or services, stuff like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.